always looks bad on my end. So I'm glad <laughs> to see that it's good on your end. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Julie. I'm Hope. And this is Bucky Boo's podcast. Okay. Can we try our drinks first? Yes. My drink is actually something that's been in my fridge for like months. My dog just barked. Sorry if you hear that. Um, Again? Oh my God. She keeps barking. Is that the truly margarita? Hunter. Gnarly, stop <laughs> in the background. <laughs> um, it's a truly classic lime margarita hard seltzer. Nice. I've never had any of the truly margaritas, but um, Hunter's co-worker came over one day and left one of these and a mango one as well. And they've just been sitting in my fridge forever. And I decided let's try them today. That's a good I'm idea. Sure. You know that what is it? White, We're good. White Claw has like a whole new line of it's called like the surf collection for some weird fucking reason but like it's like surf club or something I don't know we'll have to try those when we're back we're ready for that again I'm still not ready um I'm not even ready for this to be honest I didn't like it um I have and this is kind of difficult to read I don't know if you can see it but it's a is it wise acre or wise acre wise acre wise acre uh it's from Memphis it's called the puffle Hazy Double Juicy IPA brewed with Nelson Suaven Citra and Mosaic the hops. What the hell is that? I have no oh. idea. You can't even really it's tell the because- the type of hops? I guess it's just the, the font is so confusing for a little old lady like me. Okay, well. <laughs> but it was brewed sounds, here in Memphis and good. not here, but in Tennessee. In Tennessee, yeah. yeah. I was, my dad was talking about Memphis- at dinner tonight he was talking about um the grizzlies yeah basketball team they lost a home game or whatever so Mm -hmm. i know some sports yes sports queen okay let's drink our drinks mine smells amazing (laughs) mine smelled good the first initial taste was not bad. And then afterwards, it came in and bit me. Like, I don't know. My face was not good in that reaction. That was like, okay. I, I literally just made the grossest sound, like, because I drank it and I was like, I don't know. I hope that it picked up in the mic, but it literally, it was so embarrassing. Um, let me talk about my thoughts on the beverage. Okay. I had to taste again. I forgot. It's good. It does taste like like a juicy, hazy kind of IPA, but it's just a little more bitter. I think that is because it's 9%, but it's not like, what's it called? Like an Imperial where it's like too much or too heavy in your throat to drink. So I really like it. I think it's a good beer. Um, and I bought it because it was like two bucks for a single. So I would, I would say it's a booze. Recommend. I don't know how much mine cost. It was free, but I will not be drinking any more of it. It was They're really disgusting. bad. Um, I just burped. Sorry. I'm you. You burp all the time. And now it's I my know. turn to edit out my own burp. Um, yeah, this one was really gross. It At first, I didn't think it was too bad. Like my first initial sip, I was like, okay, like kind of sweet. Got that lime. And like, I kind of could, I don't know if I'm making this up, but I felt, I felt like I could taste tequila e taste in it, which is weird. And then like you get past the carbonation and you get the aftertaste and it was like getting hit by a train. It was so gross. I don't even know how to describe it. I took a second sip so I could try to describe it. And it's just like, all I can say is it's fucking disgusting. And it's like really just gross, sour, sweet, syrupy tasting, like not good. So I tried it. I, I got a couple things to say. First of all, I just think that truly needs to really get over themselves. You know, like one is enough, girl. I know White Claw does it. But White Claw does it better. And it's just like your classic seltzers were good. The tropical were good. Leave it at that. Everything else that we've tried by them sucks ass. I think that the margarita Trulies literally tastes like straight up margarita mix. It's just like sour, sweet syrup. It just is so like 
syrupy. So I totally get, get what you're saying. Yeah. That does bring me to something I want to talk about. And I just had this thought not too long ago, a couple of days ago. So I, so all the time, like when it's sunny out, I'm like, oh my God, I want a margarita. This sounds perfect. Like a fun little margarita day. But honestly, guys, I don't think I like margaritas. I think I like the celebration, like how celebratory it feels kind of like, like a champagne or mimosa, but I like those, but it's just like, ah, summer. But honestly, I don't like margaritas. I hate margarita mix. I just don't like it. It's so nasty. And I'm so glad to be speaking my truth out in the public. Yeah. I think I agree with you because I used to go out and get margaritas all the time with my girls. We'd go to like the Mexican restaurant and we'd eat food, drink margaritas, like buy one, get one margaritas. And, um, just like get drunk and talk shit and it was so fun and I think I just like I didn't necessarily like the margarita because to be honest I never like want the taste of margarita it's not that good it's so like it's thick and I know it's like weird it's like a fruity summer drink no it tastes like I would not drink that much juice in a sitting so it's Mm kind of like why would I do that you know like and to get drunk from a margarita you'd have to drink like probably like two or three or four and it's just like that's just a little bit too much (laughs) too much yeah you know I did have this experience like a couple days ago where I thought this is when I really decided I didn't like margaritas anymore I went to go get margaritas and I swear hope there was no no tequila in the margarita and so this is what happened I drink it I was like oh okay like this is whatever um but I couldn't taste it and then like at the end of it I was sharing a picture there was nothing like nothing happened it was just juice. I really think they forgot. They didn't even saw our rim. So I really think that they could have forgotten because like, you know, it looks all it the same. It like it at all. Mm-mm. It's just, and I got grapefruit because I wanted to try a new flavor and it literally just tasted like juice. So that was, that I didn't, sucks. I didn't even finish mine. I couldn't. I was like, this is just juice. I'm tired. Like I don't, I don't want it anymore. So that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, can I tell my story about Millie? Yeah. <laughs> Go okay. <for> it. <laughs> Guys, this is a really fun story. So Millie, my baby puppy, she's like seven months old now. And something that's always impressed me about her is that she has no fears. Like ever since she was a baby, like jumping over things, like jumping on Benji, playing with him, who he's like a 50, 60 pound dog. Like she just was not afraid at all of anything. Well, the other day on Monday, I brought a watermelon into the house and this changed everything. She was so afraid of the watermelon she would just like stare at it up on the counter get a little bit close and scurry away and just like growl at it and get close and scurry away and I was like girl the one thing in your life that you're afraid of is a fruit I was like I will cut it open if it scares you I swear and like so then I had to like put the watermelon down the ground so she could so she could smell it because I didn't want it to torment her I didn't want to put it in my pantry and then she got over it but it was just the cutest thing That's ever that she was afraid. Thing. I know. She's just like, what's that big green bitch doing on the counter, mom? Like, what get it the fuck that? away. <laughs> like, imagine if she like dropped it or if it would have fallen. Oh my God, she would have been traumatized. The blood, the guts she everywhere. Never, yeah, she would yeah. never get near watermelon again. She would like never. cry. I was like, girl, this is a <laughs> summer fruit. Like, get watermelon over is this. Like, superior. I like watermelon, cold watermelon in the yes. summer. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. So it's like, good. in my opinion, it's like eating soft flavored ice. It's kind of like a natural, like, it is. It's like shaved ice. ice. Yeah. yeah. But we, it's better. It's so much better. Like, We're visionaries. So good. It's so you know good. We're like visionaries. Oh, yeah. I saw this thing where this girl blended up her watermelon and then put it back and then tried to make popsicles out of it. And it just seemed like really dumb because I'm like, if you want that. frozen watermelon just like stick it in the freezer first of all but like it's just good cold out of the fridge that's so like, weird it's already blended and mashed together basically yeah exactly it's so soft like you don't even have to hardly chew it yeah that's really extra just water um but, uh, i had watermelon awesome. the other day my friends and i we went to percy priest and like hung out in enos and stuff i saw that and we ate yeah that was Saturday we ate watermelon that is awesome um do you want to talk really fast about the Met Gala and our idea yeah we can talk about that yeah definitely 
So first of all, guys, the Met Gala, I guess, was a couple of days ago, which is so weird because I literally thought that it already happened not too long ago. I just, yeah, honestly, the Met Gala, to, like, all these, like, events, like the Met Gala and stuff, I know that's technically for charity, but it feels just, like, so gross to me. I don't know. I think I'm just kind of, like, grossed out by celebrity culture and, like, them dressing up in these, like, crazy almost like costumes at this point that cost so much money it's just like uh it makes Dude, me did you weird. did you see kylie jenner hers was so all of the kardashian jenner people Awful. had terrible outfits all of them Straight except for Kim, up. obviously was in marilyn monroe's thing which i heard a lot of people were mad about because it's like yeah. a part of history they're like she never got anything for herself and this was like her one thing and now it's not even hers anymore which like I don't know it's still I mean, her she's, she's dead, like, like literally dead it's still hers like she nobody's gonna see that and be like, yeah exactly it's in Ripley's believe it or not museum it's not that big of a deal I feel like I'd be um, more pissed off if it was in a museum like Ripley's like instead of you know like in this it is in a museum awesome it's event. in Ripley's yeah, yeah I it's don't not know. it's not in like some high fashion museum or right. some actor me- I don't fucking know you know yeah. it's in Ripley's believe it or not so yeah but <laughs> believe it or not Kim wore it bitch and that's let, it get over yeah it. let Kim Kardashian wear it who cares but I thought all of them the theme there were some people that did like really good on it but like none of the Kardashian Jenner crew did it like I feel like I could have seen any of their looks on any fucking regular ass red carpet it wasn't like special yeah I, was I really hated Kylie's look too that was so I was like so mad because you know like so I get ugly. it like that's like off-white fucking like design that that's it's hideous to me it's hideous it looks so bad the top first of all the snapback to are you kidding like what the gilded it's like gilded age right isn't it was like it Americana to do fashion with the yeah it was like disgusting. the gilded age was like the late 18 like the 1890s right that that silhouette first of all nowhere close to the gilded age and then on top of that it's just like it looks like a big wedding dress with a baseball cap and then like the the mesh sleeves no offense but it gives me like early like Nicki Minaj music video vibe yes right oh my god yeah that's exactly what it is and yeah that's disappointing it is but you know what it is too it's a lot of these celebrities have contracts with designers so they don't really get to decide what they wear too much they just like don't really have a chance right they just have to kind of wear whatever was made for them did you also see that this was Kourtney Kardashian's first year invited to the Met Gala I did not know that they were all um, banned because Kanye is the whole reason the Kardashians are not seen as like reality tv trash and even though Kanye is crazy and I'm glad that like they she got divorced it's probably what's healthiest for all of them He's the reason she's taken seriously in the fashion community. Yeah, I mean, he's been dressing her, she said, like, for years now. But And he's is... the reason she, they were all banned from the Met Gala. Okay, tell me about that, because he... I have no idea what that means. Like, what, what, what yeah, that's about. like, they weren't allowed at the Met Gala. I don't know if it was because of some, I don't know why exactly, but I remember they were not allowed there. And then Kim came as Kanye's plus one. He, like, no was way. basically, like, I'm... I'm going like she's coming with me because I think he was performing uh-huh. and um, yeah and so then she came and then like slowly they got their credibility and like the fashion thing and she served like some really amazing Met Gala looks over the years she did I really like that one where she was like in the wet like the wet dress it looked like it was that wet. one's my that favorite, was my favorite. So cool. yeah but so Anyway, so yeah, so looking though, because the like corset yeah, thing, it like freaks me, it freaks me out when people wear corsets. I hate it I so like much; it. it makes me feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> but anyway, I so I can't breathe. Courtney was invited, and then apparently there was this whole thing because she like said in an interview she was like, "I didn't even like think for a second about what I wore; like this meant nothing to me." And like then everyone was mad because she was like doing so much PDA with Travis, which like who cares about the PDA? She I don't really give a fuck. Like that point, is their whatever. thing. Like whatever it's, yeah they're trying to be edgy whatever but I don't let her have her... a good time she had a terrible relationship for many nine years year awful Scott. relationship she like can, let her this. live but then also let's talk about like I just think it's so weird that fucking tiktokers are at the Met Gala now 
Well, I think you can buy tickets to it. I think the whole thing is like, it's a charity event, right? Like, don't you have to buy? I thought you got invited. Oh, maybe you do. I don't know. I don't know. I guess. I don't know. I thought maybe, maybe some famous, famous people get invited and then others have to buy their ticket. I don't know how it works, but I thought it was for charity. I thought it was a charity event. Is I've it never not? heard about that. I've never heard about the charity thing, but that could just be me not I hearing about it. It was a charity event. We should look it up now. Yeah, while you're looking, looking it up right now, <laughs> while Hope's looking that up, Hope and I saw this tweet and it was like the Met Gala it's theme. Fun- should- okay. The annual gala is a fundraiser for the self- funding costume institute of the metropolitan museum of art okay so yeah that makes sense the matt gala yeah that makes sense um so yeah i sent up this tweet today about how this girl tweeted that the next met gala theme should be the twilight saga and hope and i were like obviously you guys know how we are but do you remember was it the met gala where jared leto like had his was holding his head Oh, you know what? I that think was that Major was. Carlisle vibes. Major, it was he, Major Carlisle vibes. Was it after that movie? Was it after Breaking Dawn? Oh, for sure. Because Breaking Dawn came out. We were like 12. When, in, yeah, in 2012. Yeah. And that was like way later. Because I actually knew and remember that picture. And like, I wasn't paying attention to that shit in 2012. So <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. we know that he's a like Twilight stan. And we liked that a lot. But yeah. I liked your idea about the bowling fit. Yeah, so there are so many endless possibilities of outfits you could do if the Met Gala was Twilight themed. Because first, let's do derivatives from the actual costumes, right? Movies and the books. Her green bowling shirt, that's iconic. You could Mm -hmm. do a suit inspired by that, you know? The the long khaki skirt that she thinks is so hot for some reason in the book mm-hmm. make that a full dress a khaki dress khaki dress yeah or um edward's sleeveless white top that he wore to go um to the field with her to expose himself and show her you know tit soak this is the skin of a killer you could tit-soak. do something like that too sleeveless white top sleeveless white i don't know yeah With- a man moo moo I don't know <laughs> I had I had an idea I don't remember what it was anymore I should have fucking replied to your message and like had it there because you know if you don't reply Written you forget down. things um yeah but no that's fucking nuts I think I do think that's a good idea um also before we jump in I guess I don't know I feel like we're just talking today you know like yeah I just feel like this is just us well, talking <laughs> there are more there are more twilight idea things too yeah, give more Twilight things. You do a full, like, like furry suit. Or, like, okay, so this year, um, Blake Lively, she had a Statue of Liberty-inspired yes. thing, which was gifted to us during the Gilded Age. She started off copper, and she transformed just like the oxida- oxidization. Someone could do something like that. And then transform into like the wolf, like have all this faux fur. Someone could do something like that. Go out. That would be cool. You know what? Also, like you could do Volturi. You could do like a total Volturi inspired thing with the hood and the cape kind of thing. That would be pretty badass as well. You could do that. And you could do like, um, like forges and shiny. Like, you know how, how fucking, um, yeah, glitter everywhere. Everybody could yeah. be wearing glitter. Like first body of all. Suit and then glitter. second, that Kim Kardashian look that we were talking about with the drips and the wet, you could do something like that. Not exactly Eclipse. because forks is damp and rainy and yeah. There's so many options. You know when the newborn clan <laughs> were so fucking funny. <laughs> you know when the newborn clan in Eclipse is all coming out from the water. To yeah. fight, that would be perfect. Oh that would yeah. be such a good idea. There are so many options. So, like, so many endless creative things you could do with a Twilight theme. Right. And, like, Jared Leto with his head, that would have been perfect. That was really, like, from, vibes. from a Twilight standpoint, loved that. Um, I love it when we do pop culture episodes. Is it insensitive <laughs> to 
talk about what happened with Alta? No, I don't think so. I think everybody's it's talking publicly. About what with Alta. Holy yeah. shit! So, and you know what? It's not the first time like stuff like this happens. You know, people. Well, maybe not to this extent, but. So to run it back, if you guys aren't Ulta exclusive rewards members, Ulta sends emails all the time. If you're subscribed to their email list and they sent a very poorly worded email. So I guess they were having like a Kate Spade brand fucking like sale or something. And so the subject line of it was come hang with Kate Spade with like the heart emoji. And all of us know like a couple years ago, you know, she killed herself. Um, and so then Alta like came back around to send an apology email. Um, but what really got me was they said, they said in the email, they were like, we apologize, but we really respect the Kate Spade brand. Like they didn't say anything about Kate Spade, the family, they just said that they really respect the Kate Spade brand, which is just like, come on, you're sending an apology email for your poor choice of words. And yet again, like is nobody I mean all you care about their emails are like my texts except for like highly insensitive somebody has to proofread this shit yeah like literally how does that get through surely there's There's more than just one person sitting here writing stuff by themselves and then hitting the send button to like how many people like million people like there's got to be something else Right. And then you would like, I'm sure you could say like, oh, well, maybe this person didn't know, but you would think that somebody working on a PR team for these wouldn't have knowledge or at least a little bit on the brands that they're like that talking you're working about. For. Right. Like it has All to be over the known. News. It was yeah, huge. it was like big news. It wasn't just something that you would know for like some very specific small, you know, person. That's not what it was. It was big. Yeah. Yeah. That was so insane. That's insane. There was another one I saw where, um, someone else, I can't remember what brand it was, but there's another brand that it wasn't insensitive like this, but they literally didn't proofread stuff. Like, um, the email doesn't say it's from the brand. It says it's from some guy's name. And then the subject line says, mommy, and it's about a Mother's Day sale for some brand. And it's a legit email. And all of their emails weren't like that. But apparently this one is just weird. Isn't that like crazy? I, I can't, I wish I knew what brand it was. I can't remember. But the subject line was literally mommy. And it was yeah. from some guy. Dude, I saw when I was reading the thread of the Kate Spade tweet, um, the whole Ulta thing, there was like apparently this like um designer who had like hanged himself and for like the storefront like of a store they were showing his clothes and like it was like no head just like a body hanging from a rope like in the mall see that is just so specific like That's not a regular way to display clothes. You know what I mean? Like you don't hang mannequins up from a rope, headless mannequins up from a rope every day. You don't see that. You see headless mannequins like sitting around in weird poses all the time. You don't see them hung from the ceiling. Yeah. So it's just just so specific. It had to be on purpose. And see, like, and I and I don't want to think about the Ulta thing like I don't want to be that person but I just feel like there I don't know it's just so hard for me to believe that that was an accident when they're like you said there's so many people that have to check this Ulta is a ginormous company they've been around for fucking ever yeah you know what I mean it's not and I know like anyone will tell you it's not easy to get a job in PR with these huge fucking companies it's not just a walk in the fucking park you know so I don't know that whole thing was crazy and like I don't know leaves a bad taste in my mouth for sure yeah it's disgusting to shed some light on the situation I had a funny thought the other day imagine I wrote it in my notes let me see exactly what I wrote down oh also everybody I can't believe it's taken me 26 minutes to say this but may the fourth be with you 
very excited. You know, it's my favorite holiday. Fuck Christmas. May the fourth be with you. That's all I have to say. But I had a thought the other day. Imagine if there was a guy that had a really ticklish penis. And it's like every time he had sex with a woman, he would like chuckle when he like went in and out. He just was laughing like he he he. But like you didn't know, right? Like imagine you go like you start dating this guy. You guys have sex. And like, he's just like chuckling the entire time. I just feel like that's such a funny thought. I would be kind of concerned. I'm like, what's so funny? Right. And like, let me in on the joke or else I'm going to get mad because why are you laughing while you're fucking me? I'd be kind of mad. You know what I mean? Right. Like, imagine what, what's so imagine funny. Imagine he like has his AirPods in. He's like, what did you say? Oh, sorry. I was just listening to a podcast or something like that. Imagine if a guy put his AirPods in when he's having sex with you uh that would, that would never be the happen. most disrespectful <laughs> shit that he's like he i actually no longer be don't want to hear you if he fucking like reached over to grab <laughs> airpods i'd like you see the light like, turn on get out of there <laughs> not happening oh my god no. that's so funny okay let me see if i have any other i'm sorry i can't stop you it's okay lee apparently amber heard cheated on Johnny Depp with James Franco. Well, apparently she cheated on him with Elon Musk. Oh my God. Ew. Elon Musk is so gross. See, like, we can talk about this for our last few minutes, the whole Johnny Depp thing. It's okay. I mean, there's a lot of shit going on, but to cheat on Johnny Depp with either of those men, I mean, James Franco is pretty attractive, but wait, wasn't he the one in trouble or was that Dave? No, it was James. James Franco is like physically hot, but like could never because he was like DMing some random girls on Instagram. I don't think they were underage or anything, though. I don't know. I think he was just like DMing girls on Instagram. Drake does that. It. Yeah, but it's not like I don't think he was doing anything actually bad. I'll have to like double check, but I'm pretty sure we would have heard like a lot more like Crystalia over. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't like confirmed 17 year olds like Crystalia. It was like he was just messaging girls and they weren't, I think one was like 24 or 21 or something. Yeah, whatever. Then I no, mean, James. It was weird and kind of cringy, but James Franco is hot, but Johnny Depp is hotter. And then Elon Musk is literally like the ugliest the man that ugliest... I had ever seen. He's like, worse. and the worst person. Like pawn scum, you know, turned I, human. I just don't get it. Like so many guys. And like, they just like, like will suck Elon Musk's dick. And it's just like, why are you so obsessed with this person? Like such a trash, gross, nasty person. It's because like, they think they'll someday be that rich. Be like, sorry, Musk. dude, your parents didn't get fucking rich off of apartheid or whatever. And like mining for shit. And like, South these Africa, are the like NFT dudes. Did that are so obsessed yeah. with Elon, like the four four x whatever the fuck it was all this stupid shit i just oh i can't oh so gross but um it's been really sad i've kind of been keeping up with the case but not really not any more than like whatever i see on social media but like apparently yeah, Amber i have like the worst fucking person yeah i think it's kind of scary how you can just like blindly accuse people of something really shitty and people just believe it that's like kind of shitty yeah but it's also annoying this case is annoying I've just been staying out of it too because so many guys who never say shit about anything have like such a big opinions on this case because it's a man it's a man accused and it's like dude you know how many women are beaten by men still like this isn't to say that women never beat men which it's true it happens women are abusers too yeah it's, just, it's like like you don't care about any of those other cases and it's like now it's the like, high profile ones people are still out here listening to chris brown after he dude, beat the shit out of rihanna it's you know insane. what i mean I and it's just chris like brown. this is the biggest deal of the end of the world i don't know i do think it's really shitty and like fuck amber heard right that's so shitty you should never abuse anybody ever period but uh, this whole thing is just like so stressful I just don't even want to think about it especially with everything going on right now Ugh, dude that's exactly what I was gonna say did you hear the clip about her saying like no one's gonna believe you because you're a man did you hear that which yeah that she's like like, oh you're a white man 
who got beat you got abused and shit like that I'm like she's like see see who's gonna believe you it's like but that's so disgusting too like as a fucking woman that's the that's what you're gonna fucking say like when literally women are fighting every single day because people are like saying like nobody believes like women and blah 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 and you people don't believe women and now you're out yeah like that's so gross if anything you should have like all the compassion in the fucking world and I'm so glad that she's getting like that people are like hearing what she said and all this stupid shit but it blows my mind those guys that are like taking this like so crazy because it's like a fucking dude it just is like oh my god if you would only like listen and open your brain to the other side yeah and like all the like countless other cases that are being ignored and not believed and I feel like this is just going to be a reason to not believe more like an excuse to not believe more women when they're being abused especially with like trigger warning but like rape cases that shit no one's gonna believe you it's something that happens all the time with rape and it's true i think a lot of rapists walk free a lot of abusers walk free right. because there's no proof and there's no you know what i mean like nobody believes women yeah no, no. I get so that it. just, it's just like really dark and depressing. I didn't mean it like it's fine. Put it down a little bit. <laughs> um, we always do that, but listen, I mean, it's the it's just it's really what's happening, and it's fine. Like it is what it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just pick okay. something. All right, last call. Last call. Oh wait, Bro, I'm confused because right, we have a time five, six, limit. Five six seven eight five six seven eight. Last call. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. All right, Hope, take it away. Okay, I literally haven't even read this last call. I'm just picking a random tweet, and it says, most people in the GM- GOP... Oh, my God. No, I'm not reading that. <laughs> That's, like, okay. so fucked up. Okay. Should I, um, should, I, should I say it again? We are down to two minutes, guys. Just literally, we have a timer. Should I say it again? Um, Let's see... I'll just do this one. It says Topanga is a wild name for a white girl. I went onto <laughs> my friend that. Adam's um, Twitter page because I know he always has good tweets. So I just like I searched his Twitter. That one. Listen a minute. Okay. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. No, we have over a minute. Okay. My last call is may the fourth be with you. May you get some bitches. Um, honestly, I get bitches and I get the fourth and I get the fourth. So that's fine. Anyways, I'm glad that you guys listened to the episode. If you want to buy some merch, it's going to be a fucking booze that squared up Skype. Bucky uh, so check, uh, check us timer. out on instagram at bucky boos podcast twitter at bucky boos uh tiktok at oh wait twitter at bucky boos pod <laughs> tiktok at bucky boos um also give us a five star written review on apple and spotify okay we are out thank you so much for listening to the podcast bye